Jazz drummers love Charlie. They love him. They love absolutely well, adore him. Yeah. Because he plays, he's not a rock drummer, you know? He's not a rock drummer. He, he holds the sticks and the way he plays the time. His backbeat is amazing and it comes out very strongly in the band, in Rolling Stones. But it's, it's evident when he plays jazz as well. We used to play in a skiffle band. Our mums were sort of friends yeah. before we were in a way. I mean, we were kids, but... Yeah. And then we got to liking the same type of... We, we could both hear how great Mingus was with Max Roach. You had all the records, didn't you? I had a couple. 
I first heard Massey Hall. Yeah. In your bedroom. Yeah, right. Charlie Parker and Dizzy Gillespie, 10 inch LP, which yeah. Charlie had, and it was Salt Peanuts, which was an epitome of fantastic bebop playing. It was like futuristic. <laughs> I mean, it was like atmospheric. And you also had the Blakey record with Johnny Griffin and Spanky Depressed oh, yeah. on bass. Oh, yeah. The whole thing was like every week you're discovering new yeah. music. And you bought the record and you. Oh, you, you read the sleeve notes and you still you know. got them actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've still got and that one. Yeah, yeah. I still look at photos of Coltrane and think, God, I wish I had that jacket now. Do you know what I mean? And when uh, Miles wore a new suit, you'd, you'd all want one. And when you watch the photo of Milestones with him on the cover in the green shirt, I mean, everybody got a green shirt. I've never got one quite like that. I've had loads of them. But they never look like that. <laughs>